sometimes, or I guess most of the time, I don't feel like I'm real. I kind of feel like I'm just a fly on the wall. And sometimes it feels like I'm not experiencing a, a human life. I'm either a fly on the wall or just some entity that exists among other entities. Sometimes I have a hard time feeling like I'm alive, like I have a hard time with sensations. And I go through life feeling hazy, as though everything feels blurry, but it isn't. Like I can see things, but it feels blurry. And I feel disconnected from life. It makes me feel like I'm not real. Like this experience that I'm having isn't real. And I wonder why. I wonder why I've always struggled with this. Me and disassociation are like best friends. I, I always resort to disassociating. And I think I've disassociated so much that I'm just in a perpetual state of disassociation. Like everything I do and life that I go through is just me being disassociated. Like me not thinking or not feeling like anything is real. Sometimes I have to consciously meditate on my feelings in the sense of, I have to consciously be present of what I'm touching and the sensory things that I'm touching in this life in order for me to kind of be a little bit more present and not be so stuck in my head constantly. And it's such a, it's such a weird feeling. Um, and it makes me feel like I'm not alive, like I'm just going through whatever it is my head whatever it is that's in my head, that's the life that I'm living and not the current life that I am living. It's so weird and, and bizarre and abstract and I, I have a hard time mixing both of them together because sometimes I overthink so much. I create this reality in my head and it seems the most convincing. It seems the most realistic. It seems the most real to me that I have a hard time with my the current the actual reality that I live in this in this world and it's hard to differentiate both of them and so because I live in this world that's in my mind that I've created by no choice it wasn't my choice it was just it, was, it just kind of is I have a hard time relating with things that are of this real world and it's hard and it's tough and and i try my best to do things that bring me back to reality that <laughs> that brings me back to reality that makes me actually feel like i'm a, i'm a human being on this on this earth that i am present that i can feel things that i could um, enjoy sensory pleasures of life but i live so much in my head that it's so I don't know, it feels so difficult for me to do. And I'm tired, you know. Oftentimes, I, I when I'm in public, like yesterday, for example, I went downtown uh, to go to class for the first time. And I guess because I was like anxious and I, I was nervous, I was walking through the city and I couldn't even... It's as if I was walking and everything was blurry i don't know if any of you guys can relate or understand what i mean but i just go through life and everything just feels blurry around me even though it's not it isn't it's not blurry at all but it feels blurry and hazy and the only reality or the only thing that feels real to me in that moment is whatever is going on in my head and whatever's going on in my head isn't reality because all it is is just worries and anxieties and ideas and imagination just running wild in my head, making up scenarios that aren't real. 
Um, and so I have to actively every day make an effort to be more present and I'm exhausted. It's exhausting. <laughs> I wish I, I didn't think so much. I, I wish I wasn't so lost in my own head. I wish I didn't, I wish I could just be, you know, I wish I could just let it all go and just exist in the reality that is right in front of me, but I can't. And I don't think that that's who I am either. And I'm trying to be grateful for who I am and, and the person that I am right now because I feel alone in this feeling. I feel like, I don't know. And it's hard. And so I was walking in the city and oftentimes I like walking in the city because I get to kind of feel like, you know, those film montages where it's just like focused on one person and they're walking normally and then everybody behind them is walking at a fast pace. It kind of feels like that. And sometimes it's nice because I love just observing life around me. But sometimes in the worst parts of that, it feels like I can't enjoy life properly. It feels like life just happens around me and I can't enjoy it. I can't be present. And I'm tired of trying to actively make steps to become more present and to be meditative and not just like the traditional be meditative for like 20 minutes, but every single day try to be mindful of, of what I'm doing, of what I'm feeling, of what I'm touching, um, to be more mindful of the sensory life that I'm experiencing. And it's so difficult because it's so not, like the only time I kind of resort to experiencing sensory things is when I'm stressed. Like when I'm stressed, I, I like to, I have to do something that has to do with some type of sensory. And when I'm anxious or stressed, usually I just go shopping. I just buy something just so I can have that kind of, I don't know, physical thing, a connection to the physical reality in some way. And thank God it's only that because if I was into drugs, I don't know. <laughs> that would probably be bad if I was into drugs or something. Thankfully, I just go shopping and buy clothes. Uh, try to buy responsibly. <laughs> so yeah, I think maybe that's because I'm an INFJ. I've gotten to, I've come to the conclusion that I think I'm an INFJ on the, on the cognitive scale. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes I'm tired of living in this abstract world that I've created in my mind. And it's not by any means something I do consciously. It just kind of happens. And then I have a hard time being, like, living in the reality that's in, that's right in front of me. And I, I wish that it wasn't so difficult for me to to bring myself back to reality and that the only way I bring myself back to reality or try to have a tangible connection with it would be through when I'm stressed, when I have to, when I have, I feel the need to escape or when I feel too anxious or too stressed, I have to do something. I get this like sudden urge where I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to do something crazy because if not, I will just fall into like deepest depths of despair in my own mind and yeah I think I think me and disassociation are like best friends because literally I was in class and oh my god and oh my god like I was in class and it was a three-hour class mind you and I was first of all I was already anxious of meeting a bunch of people so that <laughs> I had a few voice cracks and awkward moments, whatever, passed through them. And then we had to do introductions in front of the class, which is also a fucking nightmare. But, and then the class started, the lecture started. And in that moment, I realized, 
oh, this is how I went through school. It's because I disassociated the entire time. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to have to do that again with school. Um, but also, not again, because I still do it on my in my day-to-day -day life. Um, it's how I handle stress. And I just wonder, do I just have to keep working at it really hard? Do I have to constantly meditate, constantly be mindful, constantly just try to bring myself back down to reality in order to feel normal? Or is it because I'm overthinking it so much that makes me abnormal, that makes me feel this way? Maybe I should just stop thinking about it and then it wouldn't be real. It would just kind of be, you know, because sometimes if you put too much thought into one thing, it blossoms into reality and so if i don't if you don't think about it then it doesn't so maybe that's the solution maybe i just have to stop thinking about it i just have to stop thinking about the fact that i'm not present in order to be present so yeah i just don't feel real a lot of the time i don't feel real i don't i don't feel like i belong i don't feel anything so and at the same time, I feel everything. I feel life all the time. I feel overwhelmed by life all the time. And on days like today, where I look like an absolute mess, I don't feel real. I just feel like I'm just some, I don't know, a body floating through life, doing whatever it is that it feels like doing. A soul I don't know and yeah I mean if any of you guys relate let me know uh, in the comments I don't know if anything I said makes sense or but I would really appreciate it um, if you leave a comment or chat with me or whatever it is um, if not thanks for listening to my ramblings <laughs> and that's it um, Thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a great day. Bye. <laughs>